All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 3 to the power of 3x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 720. So at first glance, this problem might actually seem a little difficult because we're, le we're dealing with a variable that is an exponent. Normally, x is a term like this, but this time it's an exponent. So it, that makes it a lot more difficult to solve. So obviously, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, I'm going to first start my, with my equation here. So I have 3 to the power of 3x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 720. And now I'm going to use the property a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So I'm going to use this property on 3 to the power of 3x to rewrite it as 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 720. Now from here, I'm going to let 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So this way, we don't have to really deal with it anymore because we're going to substitute in y for 3 to the power of x. And now, this makes this much more simple to solve. And then later, once we find the value of y, we can plug it back in here and then find the value of x. So our first goal is to find the value of y here. So now to do that, What I'm going to do is rewrite 720. So 720 is the same thing as 360 times 2. And 360 is the same thing as 180 times 2. So I have 180 times 2 times 2. And now this is the same thing as 90 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 45 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I have 2 to the power of 4 times 45, which is the same thing as 9 times 5. Now 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I have 2 to the power of 4 times 3 squared times 5. So, seven hundred twenty is equal to nine to the power of three minus nine because nine to the power of three is seven hundred twenty nine, and seven hundred twenty nine minus nine is seven twenty. And what I'm going to do now is plug this in for 720. So now I have y to the power of 3 minus y is equal to 9 to the power of 3 minus 9. Meaning I get y to the power of 3 minus 9 to the power of 3 minus 9. Minus y plus 9 is equal to 0. And the reason I'm doing this is because notice now how we have a number to the power of 3 minus that same number to the power of 3. And then we just have those two same numbers but without being cubed. So now from here, I'm going to use the property a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So I get y minus 9 times y squared plus 9y plus 81. And now I have this minus y plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, negative y plus 9 I'm going to rewrite this as negative of y minus 9. And from here, I can factor out y minus 9 because notice how both these terms have y minus 9 in them. So I get y minus 9 times y squared plus 9y 
plus 81 minus 1. So this turns into y minus 9 times y squared plus 9y plus 80. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 9 is equal to 0, and I also have y squared plus 9y plus 80 is equal to 0. So for y minus 9 equals 0, all I have to do is add 9 on both sides, and I get that y is equal to 9. Now for y squared plus 9y plus 80 equals 0, to solve this I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 9, and c is 80. So I get y is equal to negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared, which is 81, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 80, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this turns into negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 320 over 2, which is equal to negative 9 plus or minus the square root of negative 239. Now, 239, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to simplify this, the square root of negative 239. So, 239 is a prime number, so what I'm going to do is rewrite it this as the square root of 239 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So I get negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 239 i over 2. Now that we have our values of y, I'm going to go back. And remember, 3 to the power of x is equal to y. So I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 9, meaning x is equal to 2. So this is one solution. And I have 3 to the power of x is equal to negative 9 plus the square root of 239i over 2, and negative 9 minus the square root of 239 over 2. But you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to a value of i, because that's an imaginary number. Meaning there's no solution for this, these values of y, and our only solution is x equals 2.